Hey guys and welcome back to Mzanzi Sobi Ketchup. If you're new here, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update. Monday, 3 July, Ria and Funani meet up and have a frank discussion about their relationship and decide to keep their distance. While Zanele organizes Shoki's bridal shower. Tuesday, 4 July, Mambo learns about Shoki's bridal shower and she manages to sabotage it. War Ona and Neo disagree about the value of weddings. Wednesday, 5 July, a beautiful woman arrives at House of Zwede wanting to talk to Neo and it's revealed that she's Alex Kadzi's sister. War Ona saves Shoki's bridal shower by reminding her she's with the people she loves. Thursday, 6 July, Dorothy lies to Molefe and denies the fact that she's pregnant, while Zachariah probes Zanele for the truth, thinking she's the one who is pregnant. Friday, 7 July, Shoki has doubts about the wedding, but Ona tells her not to let Mampo ruin her fairy tale, and Funani finally gets through to Mampo using her relationship with her mother. Monday, 10 July. Molefe struggles with the fact that Dorothy is keeping secrets from him, but Ona encourages him not to confront her. While Shoki and Kosi's traditional wedding kicks off and it's a beautiful affair. Tuesday, 11 July. Nandifa decides to crash Nkosi and Shoki's white wedding and has a moment with Funani. While Molefe can't take it anymore and confronts Dorothy directly. Wednesday, 12 July, Nkosi and Shoki are excited about their future together, while Funani and Faith are worried about Nandifa, and Dorothy and Molefe have a bittersweet moment. Thursday, 13 July, Nandifa gets Benjamin involved in the search for her brother, and he warns Funani about prison time, while Molefe stops Dorothy from making a big decision. Friday, 14 July, Funani gets Benjamin to cover up his tracks, but Nandifa ends up getting to the truth through Isaac and Faith, while Molefe announces to the Molapos that he's going to be a father. Monday, 17 July, Molefe is excited about his new job at House of Zwede, while Faith and Funani are devastated after hearing about their son's death and Faith is convinced it was Nandifa's doing. Tuesday, 17 July, Molefe is concerned about how Senzu's death will impact him starting his new job, while Funani anxiously awaits the autopsy results to prove if Nandifa was involved in their son's death. Wednesday, 19 July, Rhea chose Molefe for bringing up his job to Funani, and the autopsy reports no foul play in Senzu's death, but it's revealed the doctor is in Nandifa's pocket while Faith reaches out to Isaac. Thursday, 20 July, Funani says some beautiful words as the Zwides lay their son to rest, and Molefe is comfortable at House Zwide and suddenly deals with a client, while Isaac discovers evidence that points to Nandifa. Friday, 21 July, Funani confronts the doctor about the autopsy report but discovers the doctor is more afraid of Nandifa and that Zwides confront Nandifa and they get what they wanted and more. Monday, 24 July, after Nomsa and Ona turn him down, Molefe turns to Sandile for help with the dress and Funani comforts Zanele who's struggling with Senzu's death while Faith is making plans to kill Nandifa. Tuesday, 25 July, Molefe starts panicking when Laz returns to work just before Molefe meets with the client and Nandifa calls Funani and declares war after a failed attempt on her. Wednesday, 26 July, Molefe is saved when Laz realizes that she returns to work too soon and Funani and Isaac discuss keeping Faith under control when Benjamin informs them about Alex Kadzi's dead body. Thursday, 27 July, Nandifa sends a message to the Zwides through a press conference about how the law will eventually catch up with them, and eventually Funani is brought in for questioning by the police. Friday, 28 July, Nandifa has the police interrogate Funani 
over the murder of Alex Kadzi, but the police find nothing incriminating. And after failing to break Funani, Nandifa sets her sights on Kosi. Monday, 31 July, Nandifa brings Kosi for questioning and he struggles under pressure until Funani shows up with a lawyer to rescue him, which leads to Nandifa believing that Nkosi is involved. As always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update.